Welcome back, my fellow gamers, to the next episode of me breaking down all the High Elves units and abilities, the whole army ro roaster, everything, so you guys can actually see what all the stats of every unit is and what sort of abilities they come with and the cost of all of them as well. Um, so we're going to do the cavalry chariots and missile cavalry and chariots in this episode. So we'll start with the Lurian Reavers, so these are your scouts, uh, very fast, have vanguard deployment come at a nice cheap 600 um, not much more to say about that obviously you got all the stats there if you want to see them but they are the hit and run guys get behind cause problems very nice good fun um, to get to a full tier you need 846 so 200 and four, nearly 250 to up that it seems to be all the basic units they've priced the upgrades to be 250 at max and the lead guys to be more 400 it seems to be then you've got the Silver Helms, and these are your Sock Cavalry, they're armoured, they've got anti-infantry, um, they come at 900 each, if you increase that, they go up to 1,224, so about 300 there. You've then got the Silver Helms with shields, so it is exactly the same, but they're armoured and shielded now, come at 1,000, so they're only 100 points more to get to the shield, um, and if we get to maximum, uh, yeah, well, a little bit more than 100, at full level, so yeah, not bad, not bad at all. You then have these chariots, where they're armoured and um, anti-infantry. Now, are they just, have they got something fancy pun? They are just the normal chariots, okay then, fair enough. Um, for some reason I thought, are they the lion ones, but I think they're, um, yeah, those ones. So, 1,100 for a nice basic chariot, well I say basic, um, Good at anti infantry, and of course, if you wanted to fall tier, it's 1476 um, from the 1000, so about 350 again. You now have the dragon princes, and then these guys scare me. They're armored, shielded, dragon armor, um, and master, or mastery. So they've got shields, which blocks 35%. They've got physical resistance of 25. They have fire resistance of 70. I love that the idea that they could literally ride through dragon fire and not care. Very nice. Um, these guys also look amazing on the field with their striking white and blue armor. Absolutely love them. As you can imagine, start at 1,400. If we tear them right up, though, they get to 1,854. So now we'll get on to the range. Hmm, so, okay, they're just the light, hit, light hit cavalry. These are the light archer cavalry. Right, okay then. So those are the ones you want to use to run down runners, um, people fleeing quick flank hits and then pull back these are the guys you want for the harassment so very fast vanguard fire whilst moving that's that's scary so they cost 750 basic and if we tear them straight up they cost 1035 um but if you look melee attack melee defense leadership um missile damage does go up a bit um but yes, okay, so just over a thousand for that. Though to be fair, if you're just using them for bow and arrows and simple, I would focus and just you know keep them cheap like that myself. And then Taronic chariots. I'm pretty sure these are the guys that are pulled by the lion. The what is it? Mix of beast and machine. Yeah, I can't remember which animal it is that's pulling it now. That's really bothering me. Was it? is it a wolf? It's a bear. I am, I'm lost for what it is, which is really annoying. But they've got Reaver Bows. Fires three arrows at once. Let's not forget that small detail. It's also anti-infantry when they get into combat. And they can fire while they move. That is horrible. For 850, I think I might use some of these more. I think I might use them. Um, and if we tear, get them right up. It costs 1,161. So that's quite a jump. Well over 300 gold to get that. Um, but yeah. I can see the elves having a really good um, cavalry option, to be honest, based on all the stuff here. And they're not too expensive either. So, be interested to see, like, a pure cavalry idea. That's a brilliant idea, Shadow. We're going to do that. You have black powder games now. I think I should do a pure cavalry army where everything has to be on horseback or chariot. That sounds amazing. Anyway, so that concludes this episode of the breakdown. As I said at the very beginning, these are just very quick, bang, 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 quick episodes. To, so you can see what the units are, how much they cost, their abilities, and just a quick sum up. Um, 
and you can watch it in little chunks as you go through your day and stuff like that. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you in the final episode for the High Elves where we'll be going over monsters, beasts, and artillery. Till then, take care.